Hello race fans and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to Martinsville for the Martinsville 75. This is going to be race number 28 in the More Freedom Series Season 4 and a special race as this marks race number 100 in the More Freedom Series. The points race is heating up after last week so let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Fifth will be the 25 of JTM. Sixth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Checking in on your team and chassis standings. Team standings look like this. Douche Motorsports still leads the way over NBR. Third's going to be Aces to Zed Motorsports. Fourth will be Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here for this Martinsville 75. Again, race number 100 in the More Freedom Series. And I think they are starting to get the crowd in here already. They're getting their cars dialed in, so I think it's about time, so let's go racing. As I get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole is the points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, and on his outside, the 660 of Garrett Miller. Starting third will be the 88 of NM, and on his outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting fifth will be the 49 of Jetman, and on his outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting 7th will be the 666 of Pistol Pete, and on his outside, the 777 of Seabass. Starting 8th will be the, or starting 9th will be the 8 of Moon Bunny, and on her outside, rounding out your top 10, will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. So after last week's win at Daytona, Mudbone able to put that double zero mellow yellow shit dodge on the pole for Amish Buggy Racing. He's bringing us down to take the green flag. It is out. We're underway here at Martinsville. Right away, Mudbone out to the lead here as he jumps up in front of his teammate, the 660 of Garrett Miller. Low line's gonna be the line here today at Martinsville as we see the 88 of NM right there behind him as Mudbone is gonna lead lap number one here at Martinsville. As we see the 49 of Jetman diving underneath the 660 of Garrett Miller. Again, they're gonna have to work down to the inside as there's a bunch of the uh, Amish buggy racing vehicles in the top 10 right now as I you know we've got we had the six the double zero the 660 the four the 666 and I believe the triple seven to see best let's bring out your timing and scoring as always top 10 will be on your left favorite driver scrolling across the top as we see the mud boat I'm sorry the 660 of Garrett Miller does a crossover move on the 49 of Jetman so Jetman was Jumped up in front of the 660 of Garrett Miller. Then Garrett does a crossover move, able to get underneath the 49 of Jetman, able to power his car for Amish Buggy racing that Crown Royal Dodge for Amish Buggy. He's out to the, possibly out to third place right now as he is working on the outside is the 49 of Jetman as we have, we see the 96 of Nico finally getting in line behind the 666 of Pistol Pete. So right now, this might be the best run of the season right now for that 666 of Pistol Pete as he currently runs in the fifth position. But we've got that six, the battle right now for the third position between the 660 of Garrett Miller and the 49 of Jetman. Jetman still trying his luck here on the outside. He's gonna lose a bit of ground right there to the 660. We're gonna see if Garrett's able to get up there in front of him. He's not as we see the 96 of Nico now down to the inside of the 666 of Pistol Pete. So this is a battle on the track for the fifth position between the 96 of Nico and the 666 of Pistol Pete. And here comes the eight of Moon Bunny in second place in points, the 20 of Adam B5000. So Nico trying to take away the fifth position away from the 666. It looks like he's gonna be able to do that. So the 96 into the fifth position as the 660 and the 49 still battle it out. Looks like Garrett's finally, no, not going to be able to take over that position all the way. As Jetman still battles on the outside right here, he needs to almost just let that 660 go at this point. 
get in behind him or his teammate, the 96 of Nico, is going to try to dive down to the inside. So I think at, finally, no. Great runs off the turn for the 49 of Jetman as he battles right here for the third position with himself and the 660 of Garrett Miller. Garrett finally able to swing up there in front of him. So Garrett has been in the third position. He's finally able to fully take it as we see a little bit of bump right there between the eight of Moon Bunny and the 666 of Pistol Pete. So you saw that little, just a little bit of a bump right there between those two and able to both able to keep their cars in a straight line here. So Nico slides a little bit high through the turn. Pistol Pete almost trying to dive down to the inside right now. Jumping back up here to your leader, the double zero of Mudbone has led all 10 laps. We got 75 laps of hopefully green flag action here today at Martinsville. He has already led 10 of those laps, working on lap, actually he's led 11, working on lap number 12 here. So Mudbone looking for two wins in a row in his fifth win of the season. If he can pull off that fifth win, uh, that would be the record for the number of wins in a season. It would also put him into the lead in career, in the career points. So a big race here for the double zero of Mudbone here in race number 100 of the More Freedom Series and race number 28 of the More Freedom Series season four. A win here could almost just knock out the rest of the competition in this season and just put him up there just untouchable. But I mean, we're gonna find out as this race goes on as the 88 of NM currently runs about eight tenths of a second right now. We'll see what the gap is after this lap. So point eight nine two seconds right now is the gap between the double zero of Mudbone and the 88 of NM as they work here across the stripe again, completing lap number 15. We're gonna see if that increased or decreased or stayed the same here. Looks like it increased just a hair over the 88 of NM. 660 of Garrett Miller is about Eight tenths of a second back to him from the 88 of NM. We see him cars finally lining up here. We'll jump back through this field as we see the 13 at King of the Aces, who was started in the 13th position, has now worked himself into the ninth position right there in front of the triple seven of Seabass. So Seabass working on a good race here today, right in front of a couple other Amish, or I'm sorry. Aces to Zed Motorsports Vehicles, the 23 of Fuller Than You and the 95 of Zed Brunna. So Zed is working top 10 in points. He's actually top five in points right now, currently running in the fourth position. Uh, could be another good day for him. We're checking in on the 544 of Frederick Winkelbaum as he runs 26th on the track night right now. So Zed, there is a possibility here that the 95 of Zed Brunna could move up to the third position, depending on his finish here, as we see a little bit of racing back here, as we got the 10 of Scooter down to the inside of the 329 of heck of a Duber. So this is a battle for the 16th position. Duber was able to take that spot away as they race around this track, but Scooter is right there trying to get that position fully away from the 329 of heck of a duber as we see the 999 of deviant ducking in behind his teammate the 300 of resemble so checking in on that scoring it looks like the 660 of garrett miller is slowly making inroads into the lead that nm had over him for the second position so he's made up about three tenths of a second so far as we watch this battle on the track for the 16th position looks like scooter might be able to work underneath. He is, he's going to be able to get that spot away. But let's jet back up here to the front as we saw that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. We'll see how close these drivers are getting together as the 88 of NM is losing ground right now to that 660 of Garrett Miller. So Garrett's got maybe a little bit of, he may have had a little bit of a help on his tire situation running underneath the 49 of, of Jetman there for a while and just being able to not fully hit the gas and all that stuff. He may be able to uh, catch up to the 88 of NM and he's going to be hoping for a pass as I think we're going to get a one stopper 
here today at Martinsville. So I think they'll get past halfway. Uh, halfway would be about lap, lap something. There's math in there. Not doing the maths right now, but I think they're going to make it past halfway here today as Mudbone, again, leads all drivers right now. He has currently led every single lap. He could he could put up some big numbers here today when you think about it. He starts on the pole, leads a lap. Lead, if he leads it halfway and he leads the most laps, that's 20 extra bonus points. So that could put him into, I believe, like 162 or 167 points for this race, uh, which could be... Just, I, I mean, that's a that's that's a lot of points. As Adam B five thousand currently second in points, runs eighth right now. As we do see Jetman thinking about getting down to the inside of the six sixty of Garrett Miller right there. So Jetman, who gave up that spot to the six sixty after he had started in the fifth position, actually Garrett started outside pole. So Jetman had taken that position away and. Uh, Garrett able to get it back, you know, starting outside pole. He definitely has a good car here today. There's lots of good Amish buggy racing cars right now as we have, again, the double zero leads, the 660 in third, the 666 in sixth, and the triple seven in tenth. Their other teammate, the 34 Super Snake, currently resides in the 25th position. So we'll jump back up here to your leader, the double zero mud, mud bone, again, points leader here in the More Freedom Series. Uh, talking to him, he was just, he was beyond excited about his win last week at Daytona, being able to win, uh, basically go a three-peat by winning Daytona, the fall race of Daytona last year, the first race of Daytona this year, and then again, winning Daytona in the fall race. And it, crazy thing is is i think in one of those races he led one single lap and that was the winning lap i think it was the race at the beginning of the year this year and last week he only led two laps so in three of his in two of his wins he led three laps total but a win is a win you know that's five bonus points it doesn't matter five bonus points and the win and then being able to move up in the standings, he's currently up by 42 points over the 20 of Adam B5000 right now for the lead in the standings, the championship points. Again, a win here today could just solidify his race to the to the championship and knock, you know, with nine races left, that could just basically just kill off the hopes for a lot of drivers here. Uh, with this win, I mean, we're, we're, you're talking like some of these drivers, I, I would have said in the top, maybe the top 16, maybe the top 20, probably the top 16 or 17 had a chance to possibly win the championship. But if Mudbone wins it here today, that could be, that could all change and it could just drop down to maybe the top five or maybe the top 10. So it could solidify his championship as we watch them drive around the track here. Scooter and Duber still battling it out. Let's get back there and look at that. We'll see what's going on. As we see them still side by side here. So this has been side by side for a hot minute now as they have been trading who is in the 16th position between each other. And last lap it was Duber. And he may still be in it right here as it looks like Scooter might have a good run on him here. Down the back stretch they go into three and four. So Duber and Scooter battling each other here for the 16th position. It looks like it's going to be Scooter this time around. So Scooter able to take that position away this time. And we're going to see he's starting to just inch away ever so slightly on the straightaways. But Duber is definitely working that outside line. As we see, the 300 of Resemble was able, was able got, had gotten passed by the 999 of Deviant. Crossover move for that 300 of Resemble as he's able to get down to the inside of the 999, make that pass back right now. And we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos now sticking his nose possibly in here. As we still have, we have starting to have side-by-side -side racing here in the back of the pack between the 420 and the 71 right now. 
As we see the 211 of Hogs down to the inside of the 544, let's jump up to the front of this field. As Mudbone still leads here, having led 39 laps all of the way, or all of them here today so far. So we are currently 35 laps to go. Your leader at halfway will have been the double zero of Mudbone, fastest lap of the day by the 660 of Garrett Miller at 98.981 miles per hour or 19.131 seconds. He runs in the third position right there behind the 88 of NM and in front of the 49 of Jetman. So this is gonna be an all important pit stop when they finally come in and if they can get in and out of the pits Listen, right now, that 88 of NM is going to need a spectacular in and out of the pit stops, or in and out of the pits, get a great pit stop, get that fuel, get those tires, how many of the tires they decide to take. All of that stuff is going to be so critical here if he is, if, and, and then that also goes for the double zero of Mudbone. Can he get into the pits in a good time? Can he you know, not deal with any traffic getting into pit road. And if he doesn't deal with any of that traffic, then there is the possibility that he could just blow away the rest of this field. So he's currently, he's about three seconds behind the uh, last place car, which is currently the 72 of Duchess. So he crosses the stripe as Duchess goes into turn one and two. So again, possibility that he's gonna run into lap traffic before he hits his pit stop, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna we'll find out, but yeah, amazing race so far for that double zero of Mudbone. He has put up a two second gap over second place, the 88 of NM, and his teammate, the 660 of Garrett Miller, also could be potentially a great, I mean, it's a, it could be a great day for Amish Buggy Racing here in the point standings, as that could possibly put them into the third position in points as they run eight points behind Ace of Zed Motorsports right now. And with that 25 point win, if Mudbone can pull that off, if he can get that 25 points for their team, that could catapult them above uh, uh, Ace of Zed Motorsports and into third in the point standings, which is an amazing feat when you think about it because they have five drivers to Douche Motorsports and MBR six drivers. So a being able to run third in points and, and potentially, potentially fight it out for the team championship at the end of the year is an amazing feat for Amish Buggy Racing. Even Aces to Zed Motorsports, who also have five drivers and only being, you know, 80, 90 points down to Douche Motorsports. So it looks like we have a battle on the track for between the eight of Moon Bunny and the 666 of Pistol Pete. This is for the sixth position. Moon Bunny getting down to the inside right now, that 666 of Pistol Pete. She has, she is trying to get up there, get some points for herself and for Douche Motorsports as she has three NBR drivers running in front of her. So that's gonna allow the possibly that 20 of Adam B5000 to try to get to the back bumper. A 666 of Pistol Pete, I think, was thinking about dropping down to the inside of the eight of Moon Bunny, but he had to hit the, he had to woe up there, get on the binders as a 20 of Adam B5000 falls back just a little bit, had a little bit of contention by the 13 of King of the Aces. We'll keep an eye on your leader here, the double zero of Mudbone with about 24 laps to go. Having led 51 of the 75 laps, you can see now just closing in on the back of this pack. He's closing in on the three of Geek Girl Games, the 11 of TC Roberts, the 72 of Duchess. The 51 of AJM is hanging out back there. It looks like Frederick has fallen all the way back to the 28th position now. As we see the double zero of Mudbone is into the pits for the fi first and final time. Your leader, the double zero of Mudbone, into the pits, the 420 of Queen of Hearts in there in front of him. So here is the all important first and only pit stop of the day for your leader. The double zero of Mudbone looks like the 23 of Fuller Than You is into the pits right there in front of him. There's the 49 of Jetman, he's down and away. 
So Jetman needs a great pit stop. Mudbone in. 660 is in. The 88 of NM is in. Right side tire is going on for that 88 of NM. Fuel going in. Four tire stop for all these drivers. Looks like Mudbone is going to win this race off of pit road. He's down and away. The 420 of Queen of Hearts is down. I think Queen of Hearts will be a lap down here. So I think we're going to keep an eye on this, but possibly here, that could have been it. That could have been the big, uh, that could be, this could be the win right here. I think you're going to have to see some people take some very risky things here at the end of this race. Uh, you know, Adam's going to have to have gone no tire, no tires and fuel only. I think to be able to win this race, um, Currently, he is shown as a leader. There's a 51 of AJM. There's a three of Geek Girl Games. There's going to be a lap down. We're following potentially the winner here, the double zero Mudbone, as the timing and scoring has updated. Let's go through your current top 10. So your leader here is the double zero of Mudbone. 420 of Queen of Hearts will not be in second. Second place is going to be the 88 of NM as he works to try to pass the, the 203 assigned. So NM is in second. Third is going to be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth is going to be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Fifth is going to be the 23 of Fuller than you. Sixth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Seventh will be the 96 of Nico. Eighth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Ninth will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. And rounding out your top 10, looks like it will be the 13 of King of the Aces. So that is your current top 10. We'll jump back up here to the 88 of NM as he is still working to try to get around that 203 of Signs or let Signs go. And But this may be prove bad for him as his teammate the 49 of Jetman who is again top 10 in points battling for that championship uh, able to get down to his inside so Jetman may have a good run here be able to get around that 88 of NM move himself into the second position we'll see if NM can take that back but with only a handful of laps to go 14 laps to go here on the track. Your leader is this double zero of Mudbone as he works behind his teammate, the 34 of Super Snake. So Mudbone, I mean, he's got a little bit of a block in front of him with the 34 of Super Snake. If, if he needs to, you know, position themselves, if, if something happens where Jetman and Inhip catch up. But I, I think at this point, it's a runaway. It's going to be a runaway win here for the double zero of Mudbone. Good thing for though for the twenty of Adam B five thousand is that he did lead those two laps, so he will get those five bonus points. So he's going to lose some ground here, but not as much as if he had led a lap. So I mean, those five bonus points can mean a lot at the end of the year as we watch Mudbone with about twelve laps to go. He still leads here at Martinsville. So watching that 49 of Jetman, he's currently 2.843 seconds behind the double zero of Mudbone. I think it, at this point of the race, he's just hoping, keeping, keeping that foot down, get that second place points. I know NM wishes he could get up there, get those third second place points, but third place is better than, than uh, no place and uh, get those get those third place points as he currently runs 16th in the championship standings. But again, that double zero Mudbone, he's going to go for two in a row today unless something catastrophic happens to his car. Uh, as we watch the 96 of Nico, I think he got around the eight of Moon Buddy. Did, no, yeah, no. I think she was in eighth and he was still in seventh. So he lost a few positions after that pit stop. I don't know, the 96, his team, his his. He's always had, he's had issues all season with his pit stops and it just continues here today. So Mudbone uh, still up by 2.8 seconds here with about eight laps to go. He has no contention from anyone in the field. The 420 and the three are staying back. They're letting him do his thing as he just continues to make laps here 
behind his teammate, the 34, a Super Snake. So again, this could be just a runaway victory here for this double zero of Mudbone. We got about six laps to go. Hey, a note. Veteran Chaos now has the fastest lap of the race at 99.147 miles per hour or 19.099 seconds. So Vet able to pick up that fastest lap of the day. Not that it gives him any points, but hey, it's, it's, it looks good on the stat sheet, though. With about four laps to go here, Mudbone still out to the lead. He's going to lead lap number 69 as he crosses the stripe. So about four laps to go here at Martinsville. Currently up 2.8 seconds over second place, the 49 of Jetman. We'll jump back and check in on him. He's gap. He's had put a little bit of a gap on the 88 of NM, and NM just has plenty of room back to the... 23 or the 660 of Garrett Miller so looks like this might be your finishing order we'll keep an eye on Jetman here at, or I'm sorry Mudbone as he still works working to solidify his championship stand he's, he's trying to win it he's trying to win it here and with this being out here to the as far as he is out front I think he's got it a couple laps to go here White flag is out for the double zero of Mudbone. As he runs down the backstretch for the final time into three and four, he's going to back-to-back wins here in the More Freedom Series. He's going to set the season record for wins with five as he crosses the stripe. Your winner today at Martinsville, the double zero of Mudbone. Let's go through your finishing top ten. Again, your winner today in spectacular fashion, the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 49 of Jetman. Third's going to be the 88 of NM. Fourth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Fifth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Sixth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Seventh will be the 96 of Nico. Eighth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Ninth will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. And rounding out your top 10, the 13 of King of the Aces. So awesome race here today at Martinsville, especially for your championship leader, the double zero of Mudbone. Next week, we go back to the Tricky Triangle. We're heading back to Pocono for the Pocono 60. So that should be an interesting race. It could be a wild one in Pennsylvania next week. Let's check in on those current points, as I do believe you'll see... The double zero of Mudbone extend his lead over the 20 of Adam B5000. Check in on those team and chassis standings. Great day for MBR and Amish Buggy Racing. We'll see what those team and chassis standings look like. Well, that's going to do it today for us here at Martinsville. Congratulations to your points leader. He wins race number 27, 28, two in a row. He wins race number 100 of the More Freedom Series. And so congratulations to the double zero of Mudbone. Again, he's your winner here today. And until next week at Pocono, take care.